Hi guys, Master Indigo here. As I promised in the spring break announcement video, whatever, uh, today we are gonna talk about one of the new features coming to Payday 2 Crime Spree, which is gonna be a new game mode. Uh, so, on this, this um, video, I'll try to explain what it's gonna be about, uh, at least according to the stream. Uh, there's gonna be a few screenshots on the background so you can see a little bit about what the game will be if you didn't watch the stream and so on. Uh, of course, I still don't 100% understand the thing because I haven't played it and so on, but I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. Uh, so here we go. The start of the crime spree is like, you have to start a level, you can start from 0 up to a maximum of 350. If you play it uh, the next time, it won't be zero, it will be like 30 and so on. Uh, the number will change and so on. There's uh, in-game settings just as always, but there is no uh, difficulty in the game settings menu. It will be always overkill and every difficulty bonus is added on top of that. So starting level, just choose a harder one for that and you will have like different modifiers which will make the game harder. But the base difficulty is gonna be overkill. And uh, all the values you see here are placeholders. So if some numbers seem too big, too small, they will most likely be quite a bit bigger. Uh, on Crime Spree Lobby, you can choose one out of three heists, uh, which is gonna be a day. So you can have day one of Hoxton Breakout, day two of Hoxton Breakout, uh, or something like day three of Framing Frame. It's not gonna be like a full Framing Frame. It's always gonna be one day on this, this one. So you choose one of these. One of them, at least one of them, you can stealth. Sometimes, as you can see on this screenshot, there can be two that can be stealthable, like go bank, pick bank here. Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to stealth them. If you only play loud, that means you can play loud all you want. As you can see, there's three different options. There's the clock, which means uh, about how long it will take you to beat the day, heist, whatever. Interception is gonna be shortest one while well, Big Bang is gonna be the longest one. This doesn't mean time limit. It means just how long the heist will take about. So Go Bang is shorter than Big Bang of course and so on. So the harder your difficulty is gonna be the more modifiers you have to take and modifiers make the game harder. The crime spree is about you tying days together so you can have First of you can have bank heist, then you can have more crashers, then you can have a big bank and so on. I don't know how many days, it, or, days or heist it's gonna be, but essentially if you were missing out on day 3, I mean, you were missing like day 7 heist, 7 day heist, this could be something you might like. Uh, there's some modifiers I took screenshots of, so of course these values might be a little bit different whenever the game mode kicks in most likely during the spring break event but not confirmed they say they don't have a set set date date but i would assume that they, this will launch during the event because i don't know i don't know uh, so one is enemies will have additional health and deal more damage that's basic basic also cloakers will drop a smoke bomb when they kick player and shields will reflect projectiles so if you have an rpg or something like that and you shoot a shield it will come back at you and modifiers are gonna be different things than mutators so some might be a little bit similar but they are not the same thing there is also something like additional bulldozers allowed into the level additional medics are allowed to level medics heal more i didn't manage to get screenshot out of everything and of course they didn't show us everything during the stream and so on also if you have or want to play the stealth option of the game, there's different stealth modifiers. One less pager can be answered, two less pagers can be answered and so on. Alarm will be sounded if you kill more than a set amount of civilians, 10 civilians, 7 civilians, maybe 5. Uh, there's gonna be a different one and if you choose the harder ones, I think your rewards will be bigger or something like that, I don't know. Uh, to start a crime spree, you will have to be level 60, and as you saw in the first screenshot, 
uh, starting a crime spree will cost you continental coins. The cheapest one is, was it six continental, six continental coins? Yes. And the hardest maximum, at least at this point, it looks to be 58 continental coins. So you will use a lot of these. It's going to be high risk, high reward thing. Uh, also, you chain, as you, I already say, you chain jobs together, but I'm not sure how many levels it's gonna be together and so on but you have to select modifiers to start a job and if i understood correctly the numbers uh, you see here are difficulty numbers so 0 50 100 350 and you have to choose one uh, modifier for each 50 levels so on 100 you have to choose two and 350 you have to choose seven and so on uh, what else? What else? Uh, Crime Spree will not disable achievements, even if it's a different game mode. Unlike Mutators, these will still count towards your achievement progression. You can play this as much as you want. I'm not sure about highest completion, because it's only gonna be one day and so on, and not three days of different ones. So maybe it will like not work for multi-day jobs, achievements, I don't know. Uh, you can also pay continental coins to re-roll the heists uh, on the menu. If you don't like this, it will cost, I think, 8 continental coins the first time. And if you want to re-roll again, it will be 16 and so on. Once again, these are gonna be, like, values that may change during the time. And these values do seem a bit high at the moment. But... Of course, you will gain more continental coins after beating the crime spree and so on. So, if you don't get enough coins from playing the game like normal game mode or safe house raid, this game mode will get you more coins to play more crime spree, so to say. I don't know. Uh, also, you can buy some gigs perks with continental coins before you start the heist. Uh, there was some something maybe more armor, 70% trouble damage, and once again, not values final. Values not final. Uh, you can only have one gauge per, per player, so even if they boost the whole full team, uh, with four man team, you can only have four gauge perks. One for each player, and they don't only help your yourself but they help the full team but you still have to choose one per player whenever you fail a crime spree you have the option to claim your rewards or you can play a very high amount of continental coins i think it was close to 100 continental coins to continue and if you continue it will be a bigger chance to have a bigger reward of course but i don't i don't know about the values yet so it's gonna be really hard to say and also, one important part is, if you get kicked, you will not lose coins. You won't be punished for somebody kicking you out of their game. So that's really good. Also, uh, as you can see here, the rewards screen is absolutely insane at the moment. Loot drop card 64. Continental coins amount is too low, I think. I think they need to give a lot of continental coins, but not that many loot drop cards cards and the streamers did say that these values are way too high way too high i'm not sure about the cast experience so on i know i don't need any of those uh cosmetic items i think this will be like i think they talk about like skins that are not part of the steam inventory system or like camo skins which is gonna be something really simple I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna be maybe van, van skins, maybe cloth skins, something like that. Uh, but something that you don't have to open boxes or be RNG or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We don't really know what that's gonna be about. Some of the cage perks are explosion immunity, fast feed, trim reaper, extra life, experimental plating and bottomless pockets. I would assume these are something like more ammo, faster running speed you don't take so much explosive damage you can go down one more time or something like that but actually this is 
pretty much everything I got from yesterday's streams. Uh, I think you can still go watch the VOD on Twitch channel and they will most likely upload it to YouTube or something later on. Uh, but anyways, this is just a short video trying to explain it somewhat simply. Uh, but I think whenever you can play the game mode, it's gonna be a little bit more simple to explain and so on. I'll try to make a video about Infamy uh, 3, 2 Infamies, whatever it's gonna be called. And what I think about it, but let's see if I t have time. Anyways, anyways, hope you guys are having a good day. See you later, Master Indigo, signing out.